We are creeping up in the last few weeks to Spooktober, which means for us TF2 players, the annual TF2 Scream Fortress event is eerily peeking around that corner. And with this spooky seasonal celebration comes a delivery of otherworldly new content in the form of the scariest kind, microtransactions. But with these virtual items added come a vast selection of cosmetics, unusual hat and taunt effects, taunts and war paints, and if we're very lucky, a new map or two. In this three-part series leading up to Spooktober, I will be showcasing my Screen Fortress 2022 wishlist using community-made items from the TF2 Steam Workshop. These items and effects are made by very talented individuals that are either newcomers or long-standing creators that have made some of your favourite items in the game. Now, before I get started, I'd just like to note that each and every item I showcase in these videos, I will credit these talented creators as well as leave a link in the description of the video to each showcased item. So please, if you like these items, go and support these creators and hopefully Valve can reward their hard work by adding their items to the game. This will be part two, showcasing my Screen Fortress 2022 wishlist for unusual hat and taunt effects. One more note, I also have a workshop that I've grown and curated over time at which I mostly dabble in war paints, so I will link that also in the description, so check that out if you'd like. First up, I'm going to showcase the unusual hat effects in no particular order. Now, the first unusual hat effect we have here is called Candy Corona, which was made by these workshop creators. Now, I really love the concept of this unusual effect as it's kind of an energy-like type of effect and comes in two variants. The orange one, which is Candy Corona, and a team colored variant, which is called Sugar Rush, with the red and blue, which will show depending on what team you're on. Now, I've been waiting for a nice effect to resemble the Series 1 Unusual Energy effects, and this creator has essentially created a gold energy unusual effect with the Candy Corona variant. But I also really like the rising stars that also emit from the base of the effect it gives it almost a comet-like look overall. If this gets added, I know it's going to be a favorite for sure. The second unusual hat effect on the list is the Elemental Mastery Unusual Effect, which was made by these workshop creators. So with this effect, it's pretty much a four-in-one effect, meaning it will cycle through four different variants in the effect's continuous loop. This effect is definitely a favourite of mine, and it's a uniquely put together concept that really works well. But instead of splitting up all the different variants, it's combined all the four effects into the one, which gives it it's almost like a master of all elements concept, when you think about it. Really, really cool, and I do hope to see this one when it comes to the October update. The next unusual hat effect we have on the list is called the Gilded Trail effect, which was made by these workshop creators. Now this, this is an amazing effect. Just look at the way the ether trail flows. It's so subtle and elegant, and whichever way the mercenary is facing, the effect will flow the opposite. I also appreciate the stars that almost sprinkle and trickle down the tail end of the ether trail of the effect, giving it a more enchanted look. Now the other great thing about this effect is that a lot of the mercenaries are bald. I know what you're saying. How the fuck is that a great thing? Let me explain. This effect, in a way, can resemble the dead spirit of a bald man's full lock of hair. And Valve adding this effect almost symbolically gives the impression that the dead spirit of their flowing locks were returned home to rest in peace. So Valve, do the right thing and add this effect to the game and give the bald mercs their flowing hair back. All jokes aside, fantastic effect. I'd love to see it in game. The usual effect we have up next is called Haunted Forever and was made by this workshop creator. So the variation on colors of this effect is great, which the purple variant is called Cursed Forever, the green variant is called Forever and Forever, and the team colored variant is called, you guessed it, Haunted and Forever. Now the subtle gradient from bottom to top on each of these variations are amazing. Not to mention the slow rising coloured embers give this effect a really nice visual appeal. On top of that, the ethereal smoke effect is really, really nice. 
and the shimmering, eerie, smiley face in the center of the effect just gives that spooky spirit theme overall. I really need this effect this Grim Fortress, and if it gets added, I hope to unbox it, because like the previous effect, it's definitely a favorite. The unusual effect we have here is called the Haunting Hex Unusual Effect, which was made by this workshop creator. Now like a few of these effects I've already shown and will show, this one comes in multiple colored variants. Green, which is called Haunting Hex. Yellow, which is called Corrosive Conjuration. And Purple, which is called Enchanted Entrance. So the animations of this effect give off a spell-like energy ball vibe. The stars are always a nice supporting addition, but the small flares shooting out and back into the effect is a great way of expanding the effect overall without making the core effect larger. Which then brings me to the core center effect, which is like a rotating energy ball. And all of that coming together and looking at that final product that this workshop creator has made is just excellent work. I'm really looking forward to hopefully seeing this one in-game. Okay, the next effect on the list is called the Firestorm Unusual Effect and was made by this workshop creator. So, one of the reasons that I love this effect is that it's very basic. We have a Stormy Storm in the game, we have Blizzardy Storm, but now I need Firestorm because, I mean, the blaze scorching clouds with the cindering embers rising from them and then the fireballs raining down is just so cool. I absolutely love how this effect comes together. I really think this would be a nice addition to the game in my opinion, and I really, really hope to see this this October. Please, Valve. Now, the unusual effect we have here is called the Stellar Elation Unusual Effect which again was made by these workshop creators. And where do I even start with this effect? This effect has an enchanting atmosphere, it has a space atmosphere, or maybe I should say lack of atmosphere if it's space. It has a starry Christmassy atmosphere. It can just fit in a lot of places, but all of that aside, the effect is just gorgeous. The effect is so subtly and beautifully animated and created, the colors used to create each variant are fantastic, which the variants are Cosmic Sorrow, which is an amalgamation of blue and green, and Stellar Elation, which is an amalgamation of purple and pink. The slow falling gold twinkling stars just magnify the effect's wow factor. Seeing this effect for the first time, it was just an instant yes for me and just went straight on the list. Just well done to these creators. So the effect showcasing next on the wishlist is the Violent Void Unusual Effect, which is made by these workshop creators. Now this effect very clearly screams Mad Scientist vibes, if only you were able to unbox new Halloween unusual effects from crates instead of just cases, I'd love to get this effect on the Grim Hat or Grim Hatte, however you say it. The only other thing that comes to mind is a twisted chaotic portal. The purple and green work great together and the animation of the effect makes me feel like it's a gate to another dimension or something. Really nice work on this one. Up next, we have the unusual effect called Wandering Wisps Jr., which was made by these workshop creators. Now, if you've watched my 2021 Scream Fortress wishlist, this effect would seem very familiar because this effect also has a taunt effect counterpart. Like the taunt effect counterpart, this hat effect depicts little wandering wisps flying around the Merc's headspace. And also like the taunt counterpart, this effect comes in four variations of colors. Purple, which is called Shadowy Spectres Jr. Blue, which is called Alluring Apparitions Jr. Green, which is called Poison Phantoms Jr. And Orange, which is called Fiery Fiends Jr. When it comes down to the animations of this effect, the movement of the wisps is so gentle and calm, it's almost hypnotizing to look at. The effect overall is definitely great to look at and is very easy on the eyes. Whatever the creators did, they did a great job to make you want to look at the effect and successfully avoided things that made the effect loud or noisy or overly erratic. Overall, a great job on this effect. Now here we are at the very last unusual hat effect on the list. And this one's called Lunaric Runes, which was made by these workshop creators. I really like this effect as its animated features include a runic-like spell circle with runes placed throughout the effect. 
The spell circle rotates whilst the, what seems to be an almost like ripple or pulse circle emits from the center. Now the effect comes in three color variations overall, however two of those variants are team specific. Now each of these colors change a symbol within the effect itself. The purple depicts moons around the middle of the circle. The team colored blue variant depicts stars around that area instead and the red variant depicts suns in that area. All in all, this is a really cool little unique feature that makes these variations their own. Now the convergent haze surrounding the outer circle makes the spelled circle seem like it's attracting everything towards itself. And the twinkling stars and star signs that appear within that haze give off a very nice astronomical feeling to top it off. Overall, a very, very nice effect in my opinion. Now, with the unusual hat effects out of the way, we'll move on to the unusual taunt effects. So for the first unusual taunt effect I have here on the list is the Geiger Breaker taunt effect, which was made by these workshop creators. So this effect really promotes the hazardous chemical theme, and not only has a large floor effect surrounding the player's feet, but also gives the player a glowing radiant full body effect as well. The color variations are Geiger Breaker, which is a nice radioactive green, Sulfuric Acid, which borders between yellow and orange, so I'm just going to call it the orange, and the third is Primordial Ooze, which is a eerie purple. I really like the haze gas that emits from the glow that surrounds the player's body and the swell at the base of the player's feet along with the random splashes of liquids or chemicals really sells that hazardous chemical outbreak effect. And to top it all off, there's small ember-like materials rising around the player from the base of the effect that give off a feeling of chemical heat. Fantastic work on this effect, I really like it. <laughs> Here we have the unusual taunt effect Nebulosity, which was, you guessed it, made by these workshop creators. Now because this effect comes from these creators, like many of their creations, this is incredibly good. There's three coloured variations to this effect. Uncanny Nebulosity, which contains blues and greens. Phosphoric Nebulosity, which contains yellows and reds and Eternal Nebulosity, which contains purples and pinks. The animations to these effects are just so subtle and beautiful, it's just out of this world. When I see this effect, it's a great depiction of what I think a universal interdimensional god would emit from their ethereal body. It's not erratic, it's not too bright, but it's just so easy on the eyes and mesmerizing that I just need each of these variations on multiple looping taunts. Yet again to these creators, awesome work as usual. Up next, the unusual taunt effect on the list is called Phantasmal Aura, which is made by these workshop creators. Now this full body taunt effect has quite the flair and emits almost a plasma-like burning effect around the player, coupled with embers rising from the body of the player. The effect is kind of like what you'd see if an immortal being went into the sun itself and then returned with its radiating energy. Now like many effects on this list, this one also comes in different variations, which this one has four colored variations, but one of those variations is team colored, so technically it's five colors overall. There's the purple variation, Phantasmal Aura, the green variation, which is Possessive Aura, the orange variation, which is Spectral Aura, and the blue and red team variations, which is Haunting Aura. Overall, really nice work on this magical effect. <laughs> So the unusual taunt we have up next is called Pungent Poison, which was made by these workshop creators. Now this effect really makes it look like the player is standing in an underworld pool of corruption and death. I haven't seen any specific promotions showing that this is a full body effect, so I think the effect emits from the ground at the base of the player and surrounds the player rather than emitting from the player's full body itself, as this one still holds its own as a really nice spooky effect. The radiating haze rising from the burning liquid pool on the floor gives off a portal to the underworld theme. And to top it off, the warping skulls rising and dissipating from the pool tops the undead theme off overall. And now for the color variations, we have a mixture of purple and green, which is called Mysterious Mixture. There's green and yellow, which is called Pungent Poison. And the third and final is Blazed Brew, which is basically an orange blaze color. A very nice effect, and hopefully I'll see it in game soon. 
Here we have a very unique unusual taunt effect called Runic Imprisonment, which was made by these creators which I've actually never seen before. These two really know how to expand their range of creative ideas, as this effect, as I stated in the beginning, is very unique. The magical coloured wraps surrounding and circulating the player with custom-made runes really sells the theme as if the player is magically being sealed away or imprisoned. The animations themselves are smooth and very nice to look at, and the glowing pool surrounding the player's feet supports the effect overall. You can always expect interesting things from these creators, which I really appreciate. And this effect does come in differing variations of colours, including a team-specific variant. We have yellow or gold which is called Aurelian Seal, Green, which is called Linguistic Deviation, and Runic Imprisonment, which has a red and blue team variation of those two colours. I don't need to say it, but again, fantastic work. We are at the very last showcase on this wish list for part two. This unusual taunt effect is called Cosmic Convocation and was made by these workshop creators. Now I chose this effect not only because I think it looks nice, but I didn't want to just choose full body effects for all these unusual taunt effects on my list. But with that aside, I really dig the magical chalk circle themes for this effect. The blend of colors used for each variation look great, at which the variations are purple and pink, which is called Cosmic Convocation yellow and dark orange, which is called Gazing Abyss, and green and purple, which is called Primitive Portal. The animations for this effect are nicely incorporated around the player's base, and do give off that magical protective chalk drawn circle theme. And I'm not usually a fan of 2D objects in effects, but the chalk used in this effect is implemented very nicely, and works with the effects theme overall. Just great stuff with this one. And that's it, the end of this part to my Scream Fortress 2022 wishlist. And as mentioned, I will be doing more, so if you're interested in seeing some more cool workshop creations, stay tuned. And as stated in the beginning, all I ask is that you give credit where credit is due to the creators mentioned for making these awesome items. That is, if you like them enough to support them. I know they'd really appreciate it. Also, if you want to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, I'd definitely appreciate that too. Also, leave a comment on which item you liked most in the list. Or if I didn't list a favourite of yours in the video, post that name in the comments below too. I'm sure people would love to check them out. That being said, I hope the wait till this October is a short one. Stay safe, take care out there, and I'll see you all in the next one.